Cookies by Design uh, is actually about a 30-year-old company. But uh, new growth spurt when they brought on Jack Long, the CEO, and he joins us right now. It's good to have you with us. Hi, David. How's things? I, uh, they're doing very well. And, and how's by you? you got 100 locations now, coast to coast. That's right. And as you just said, it's our 30th anniversary this year, so we're rather proud of being able to stick around. Our founder, Gwen Gillum, in 1983, thought of a, a great idea to combine flowers and cookies into a cookie bouquet. Here we are 30 to, uh, years later to tell the tale. So we're having uh, a great time at the moment. We've got lots to talk about. But at the very least, you know, we're celebrating this year because if you don't mark your anniversaries, nobody else will. <laughs> yeah. 30 years. I mean, 30 years ago, this type of business had to be vastly different. For example, you had to have a bricks and mortar location. People had to see it, I guess. And now, I don't know, does anybody ever come to the stores anymore? Or is there anything online? Oh, no. I mean, you're quite right to point out that the model now is that we're an online universe. But about 55% of our business is online. 45% of it is bricks and mortar. People do love to come in <clears throat> to actually choose to taste, to appreciate what we do. Because a, a picture is great, but until you smell and taste and put your hands on something, it doesn't really come alive. So the shops are important for weddings, for corporate gifts for baby showers because people like to come in and talk to a consultant and really make the, the whole uh, the whole experience personal, and that's what we specialize in. But, you know, I, I send flowers all the time, and usually, you know, some special occasion, uh, you know, whether it be pleasant or unpleasant, but I never go to I mean, it never occurs to me to go, go into the florist, and it, and it occurred to me that, you know, a florist just have, might have to have one location from which to ship. I mean, do you contemplate opening as many bricks and mortar locations in the future as maybe you had? Yeah, I think we need to because um, we're very much community based. We have very loyal customer base who, who chooses to patronize us because of the service that we give. And I think if you lose that bricks and mortar, you do lose the, the personal touch. And, and that's what we like to provide our customers with. We fully respect uh, those online shoppers, and, and that's why we try to make our website as, as cool an experience uh, as we can. But we have to respect the fact that people do like still to, to spend time to get things right and to make sure they've put their own mark on something. Well, I, I, you all have migrated this business over a little bit. I mean, you, you still have the cookies with the, you know, the logos for the football teams and the NFL and and the baseball and little league teams. But but you're coming up more as a as a fundraising mechanism too I, 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 you have a pretty thriving business selling what cookie dough yeah we, we, we thought we'd look at this late last year and we entered the market this year it's been very successful so far I mean it's it, America's fundraising market is about 4.2 billion dollars which is a huge market and, and nowadays it's not really a question of uh, are you going to fundraise it's what are you going to do to fundraise because everybody has to supplement the, the budget that they have and so we sell cookie dough at $15, which is a great price point. But we also sell tumblers, which are coffee mugs, which have team logos on. So if you're a school band, you can choose your instrument and your name and put those on there free of charge, as well as the NFL and the NBA tumblers that we sell as well. So it, it started pretty well. Um, but one of the, the, the big things that we're looking at this year, David, is exploiting a, a marketplace that is pretty much known out there, but it's something that um, we found a challenge to get our arms on, and that's the gluten-free market. So we're very, very excited about launching that in October this year. I, I guess that's that's the new thing right now. Everything has got to be gluten-free. But tell me about tell me about expansion. You're at 100 locations right now. Um, how quickly do you think you can you can increase the size? Just opened a new corporate location in Dallas, so we're up to three, uh, six uh, altogether, three owned by corporate and three franchise. We're just about to open a new location in Austin at the end of September, which we're excited about. And we have new prospects in Washington, D.C. and Atlanta. And one of the things that we've done, which we think will kickstart the, um, the domestic footprint, is to go international. It's something we've just signed an agreement with with an Atlanta-based international company. And they're going to take us to Canada. They're going to take us to Central America and South America. Uh, also to Europe and to the Middle East, who um, is a population that has a very sweet tooth. So we're hoping to exploit those locations. Yeah, well, in fact, you may need to uh, visit some of those locations and 
work on your accent a little bit. You're becoming a little too American, I think. <laughs> No, it, it, well, I've been here eight years, and it rubs off on me every day, so I'm proud to say that I am becoming more American. Jack Logg is the CEO of Cookies by Design. It's always good to have you with us. No problem at all, David. You Th take care. Thanks. I'm David Johnson, News Radio 1080 KRLD.